What's up, y'all? Just got my uh, my workout kit in the mail. Um, for everybody who's been following my channel so far, you know that I'm still recovering from a torn Achilles. Um, here I am at um, week two. Um, yesterday, which was a Thursday, made two week exactly since the Achilles tear. My Achilles actually tore on December 22nd, playing basketball. One of my uh, most prized hobbies is working out. So obviously I can't go to the gym, can't get any cardio in. Um, because of this, um, technically I can't get go to the gym and do some upper body work. But, um, you know, of course, I tried to err on the side of caution as far as being around all those heavy equipment. So I decided to order this workout kit. As you can see, you have a jump rope, which I obviously can't do, but you got an ab roller. It also comes with a few different other things. You have um, wristbands, push-up equipment, um, shape stretch band, and this is like a premium resistance band, which you could actually put on your back while you're doing the push-ups. I've already uh, connected um, pretty much all the light equipment, um, which is like the uh, push-up, uh, I guess push-up base things, as well as the ab rollers. So we're gonna test it out. Um, these are more convenient and um, less, I guess, um, less strenuous workout. So we're gonna take a look at it, get a feel for it and see how it worked out. This also came with a knee pad, which is super cool. Obviously you guys see that I got like vinyl floor at the house. So something like this is gonna work perfect. So start off with the ab roller. Let's see how, uh, how it makes me feel. And let's see how it works out. Uh, push this all the way over. Uh, uh, let's get a feel for it. Feels good. Knee pad is a little uncomfortable, but overall it feels good. I'm trying to keep my abs as tight as possible. Just to get that premium workout in. Stop the push up. That was not a fart, by the way. That was um, my uh, boot. That's my boot. No farting. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I can't put both toes on the ground since I'm on the boot. So, pretty much, I'm going to do a push up with my left leg over my right leg. And see how that feels. That feels good. Whew. Guess these are <coughs> some pretty uh, official equipment.
just sliding. Ooh, overall it doesn't seem too bad. I'm not feeling like I have, ooh. Overall it doesn't seem too bad. I don't feel like I have any stress on my leg or anything. But it does feel more tiring. I feel like I'm a uh, Exhausting more energy than I would otherwise exhaust had I been able to move at 100%. I feel that way too when I'm on my crutches. Knee scooter is just for in and around the house, whereas crutches is really the only thing that compacted my vehicle. Whenever I'm going somewhere and I take my crutches, I feel like I'm exhausting so much energy. But overall, I feel good. It's not going to give me the same workout that I would typically get at the gym. But it's um, it should do as far as keeping me afloat for right now. So just wanted to break that open, show you guys that. And yeah, I'll catch you on the other side. Here we are on the other side. <laughs> I just had to put uh, a sheet down for more comfort. And then I'm uh, just about to put all my workouts together. So I'm able to film maybe like three, four workouts um, to the best of my ability. So it's really just core of a body via push ups and some miscellaneous activities in between. Let's get it started. Start with six inches. We used to call these six inches when I play football. Have your feet six inches off the off the ground. Spreading them, bring them together. This is more so like an ab workout, possibly the lower ab. Get up. Washboard. I'm not sure what this workout is actually called, but it's actually one of my go-tos even at the gym. I like to take my hand, shoot it through my uh, my legs. Um, and I'm not coming all the way up in sit-up position, but it's like a slight sit-up position, so it kind of works the uh, upper ab area. So kind of something like this, but I'm focusing it on making sure I'm keeping my core tight. Right at the peak of the workout. So I'm gonna alternate 
hands and toe. Uh, just kind of have like a, a laid crunch. I guess toe touches is, is what they would call that workout. Once again, I'm focusing on just keeping my core tight at the peak. Pad back down. Get some ab rollers and some push ups in here. She was creating like a little hill at the top. carpet is sliding so I have to be controlled when I <coughs> when I actually do these push-ups at least as controlled as possible let's go once again left foot over right Nice work. Whew. Get a second set in after like a 30 second breather. That should be done. Keep it low. Workout light. Once again, I feel like I'm uh, pumping out a lot of energy. This is I'm pretty much favoring that one leg. So let's um let's do it all over again. Start with six inches. Jump right into washboard. <sighs> Going in. 
into upper ab workout, shooting my hand through my, my leg like a V. Always have to remember to put my foot down gently. Whereas before the injury, I probably plop my foot down like that. So I always got to remind myself gently, gently, gently. <sighs> That turn felt a little aggressive on my leg. Oh, not my roller road all the way back there. All right, I'm gonna at least get uh, 12 of these in at least. I haven't been counting on any of my workouts as you guys can see, but I'm gonna try to at least get 12 of this. That's 12. Ooh. All right, last one. Let's see if we can go for, let's see if we can go for 20. Let's shoot for 20. Whoa.
cool. That, my friend, is good work. That's a brief at home workout. Find ways to stay active, people. If I could do it, you could do it. it don't have to be much. Just do something. Peace and bust, and I'll catch y'all next time.